Hi, I'm G Charman and welcome to my Back to Basics series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect Eggs Benedict. So for the perfect Eggs Benedict, I guess the most difficult part, well there's two really, making a hollandaise sauce and poaching an egg. Now I'm going to show you a sort of cheats way of poaching eggs just to make it really simple. So in a deep saute pan or frying pan, I've got about three inches of water and to that I'm just going to add a splash of white wine vinegar and a little bit of salt. Now the vinegar, you won't get any taste of that in the egg, it just helps hold the whites together. Now there's only one problem with poaching eggs. You need really fresh eggs. Doesn't matter if you're the best chef in the world, if you've got unfresh eggs that the white is all loose, you just will not be able to poach it properly. But these should be nice and fresh eggs. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to roll them in the water that is just coming up to a simmer in the shells. And I'm going to roll it back and forth in the water for about 15 seconds. Now the idea of doing this is that it sets the secondary white of the egg. So when you crack an egg, you have the yolk, and then you have the really thick white, and then you have that watery white. Now what this is doing is setting that watery white, and that means when you crack them into the pan later, it's already half held together for you, so it does half the work. So my water is just starting to simmer, they're rolled in the hot water, and I'm going to crack them gently and carefully into the pan. Now what you don't want are big bubbles because as the bubbles come up they're going to start breaking the white up. You want it really gentle, gentle heat. Now that they're in, I'm going to turn the heat right down or you can even turn it off and leave it with a lid. Now I'm just going to splash a little bit of water up over the whites very gently just so that they're a nice shape. Now that secondary white, when they come out, might have splayed out a little bit and you can trim them to make them look beautiful. But as you can see, they're pretty much holding together. Just going to leave those to sit, it's as simple as that. So I'm just going to make my hollandaise, I'm just going to swap these pans over, doing it very gently, and pop this one on, very low. And in a saucepan, I'm going to melt 175 grams of butter. So I'm just going to melt that and get it nice and hot. So in a small blender, I've got three egg yolks that I'm just going to pop in. And then there is an argument for white pepper. It's a white sauce, mashed potato, white pepper. I'm a black pepper fan. I just love it. So I don't mind the little flecks in it. I think it looks quite nice. But the classic French chefs will be screaming at me now. But I don't care. So a little bit of black pepper in there. I'm not going to season it just yet because I'm using salted butter. Now many recipes say unsalted butter. I like salted butter, I prefer the flavour. So I'm going to use that and then I can season with salt later. So I'm just going to pop the lid onto my blender. Now if you don't have one of these blenders, you can do it in a jug with a stick blender, whichever you have really. And then just blend these up very quickly. Now because there isn't that much egg in there, you might have to tilt your blender. And then the key is my butter's nice and hot and bubbling and you want to run the blender as you pour it in slowly. There's a few splashes and splashes but you know, it's well worth it. So you want to add it really slowly. So I think that's just about it. Perfect. Now I suspect this needs a tiny bit of salt and then just to cut through the fat you just want to add a little squeeze of lemon juice. And then that's your super quick hollandaise done. So I'm just going to get my eggs back and the way to see if they're cooked is just to lift them out of the water carefully and then what I tend to do, just drain off a little of the excess water and just feel the middle. If it's still nice and soft, then you know it's soft in the middle and you'll get a nice runny yolk. And if it's nice and firm around the white, you know it's ready. You get this one. Just cut that one bit away. So now those are draining. I've got two English muffins, which are traditional, with some beautiful thick cut ham. If you want, you can use crispy bacon. Oh, put one egg on one, one on the other, and then, some of this delicious hollandaise on top. Now if you like this recipe and want to see more, why not click on the subscribe button. And the final bit of black pepper, because I love my black pepper, and that's it. 
really simple, really quick, eggs benedict with hollandaise sauce. Mm.